24 hours after this three-year-old disappeared a dog picked up a scent the search team wasn't expecting Deep in a forest in eastern Texas hundreds of rescuers are desperately searching for a missing three-year-old boy The boy Ezra Parrish has been lost for almost a day and hope is beginning to fade But then a dog sniffs out the scent of something nearby on May 27, 2017, Gloria Cooper was enjoying an evening at a Dave & Buster's restaurant in Houston, Texas. She was accompanied by her husband, Jeremy, while her three-year-old son from a previous relationship, Ezra, was on a camping expedition some 60 miles away. Indeed, Ezra's biological father had taken the boy and his siblings to Sam Houston National Forest, which is about an hour's drive north of Houston. And as one of just four national parks in the whole state the area is a popular destination for campers and hikers looking to escape the city Ezra's father had chosen to take his family to the Stubblefield Lake area a remote spot just off Forest Road 208 But what started as a family adventure soon turned into a nightmare when little Ezra toddled off from the campsite and into the forest alone at 3 p.m. then Ezra's family placed a heart-wrenching call to the new Waverly Fire Department The boy was missing they told the authorities and nobody knew where he had gone Moreover with temperatures hovering around 90 degrees Fahrenheit fears for his safety were running high Hours later Ezra was still missing and although dozens of rescuers had spent the afternoon meticulously searching the forest No sign of the boy had been found finally Someone contacted Ezra's mom Gloria in Houston and delivered a message that no mother ever wants to hear When Gloria answered her phone a stranger on the other end informed her that her son had gone missing from the campsite earlier that day Now night was falling over Sam Houston National Forest and poor Ezra was still nowhere to be found Heartbreaking that it had taken so long for the news to reach them Gloria and Jeremy jumped in their car and made a beeline for Stubblefield Lake and as they drove they began making panicked phone calls to family members near and far begging for assistance Among those who offered their help were Gloria's sister and her niece Lelaine who lives in California Indeed the pair hopped on the first flight out to Houston and rushed to join the rescue effort and by the time they arrived The mission to locate Ezra was in full swing The search continued throughout the night by 1 a.m. The next morning though people were growing tired However, there was still no sign of Ezra and everyone knew that time was running out Desperate the chief of the new Waverly Fire Department Jason slot sent a call out for additional resources Luckily the Texas EquiSearch mounted search and recovery team or TXEQ were on hand to respond an organization of some 600 volunteers TXEQ are often called in to assist authorities in Texas and nationwide with locating missing people and so in the early hours of May 28th 2017 member Jan tips sent out a request for TX EQ volunteers to join the search Despite the hour they responded and by 4 30 a.m. A group had gathered at the campsite together. They began searching the forest for clues It was very eerie hearing family members out in the woods calling Ezra's name in the dark Volunteer David white wrote later on the TX EQ blog but despite everyone's best efforts Ezra still hadn't been found as the Sun rose By now the fire department and TXEQ have been joined by ever-growing numbers of volunteers Some were experienced rescuers who knew the terrain such as Sam Houston trails coalition While others were simply concerned citizens who had heard about Ezra and wanted to help Overall some 200 people combed an area covering four miles for any sign of the missing boy some used machetes to cut through the undergrowth others drove quad bikes along the trails their eyes peeled for Ezra along the way Others still brought dogs to help them sniff out any clues TXEQ's president Tim Miller even found himself having to make some terrible decisions Launching a boat into a nearby lake for instance. He used sonar equipment to scan the water for signs of a body Luckily the hunt turned up nothing and Miller was able to put that nightmarish possibility on hold as midday came and went and the oppressive heat returned hope of finding Ezra alive began to dwindle and as a press conference loomed Miller began to wonder how to address the reporters Privately he suspected that recovering the boy's body was the best they could hope for now as Miller prepared for the conference volunteers continued to comb the area and then finally in an area just a mile from the campsite a dog alerted searchers to something nearby 
The canine had sniffed out a scent and had got the attention of some of the searchers who moved closer to the area Among the searchers was Ezra's 21 year old cousin Lelaine Dunga She had been desperately scanning the trail for hours calling out Ezra's name over and over as The dog eagerly tracked the smell Lelaine called out again and this time her cry was met by the sound that all the searchers had been longing to hear it was Ezra's voice. The boy was alive. Following the cry, new Waverly firefighters discovered the child concealed in an area of thick grass. And amazingly, he had only minor injuries. As Ezra's family gathered around the young boy, news began to spread that the search had not been in vain. And although Ezra received treatment at the Children's Hospital in Woodlands, Texas, he appeared to be no worse off for his ordeal. Meanwhile, rescue crews were in a celebratory mood. Later, Montgomery County Search and Rescue's Steve Degnar told people, the greatest outcome we could have asked for just happened right now. Please share this uplifting video with your friends below.